I always try to find out what is the real reason that drives a person to start and continue their training. The people I coach always gives me the intuitive answers like to improve my health, lose or gain body weight, but there is always a driving factor for each person to get started with their training. Let me give you an example. During a initial call with one of my distance coaching member, when I asked her about what would be her goal that she wants to work towards, her immediate response was, I want to be fit and strong. Then I asked her, what does strength mean to you? She replied, I just want to be strong enough to carry around my knees. Such a great way to define what strength means to her. This is something I try to establish with the people that I coach with. What does strength mean to them as an individual? I see this as one of the most valuable pieces of information for my coaching as this establishes what exactly is someone looking to get out of their training. Having goals such as wanting to look good naked, having a toned body or shredded abs are all fine but if you really think about what strength means specifically to you, there is far more things that you could benefit from fitness. Ignoring those benefits would be like using your mobile as a paperweight, a huge waste of potential. On top of that, if getting started or being consistent with your training itself is a struggle for you, by not clearly establishing your purpose for training at the first place, you are creating more barriers for yourself in your fitness journey. I keep mentioning about working on foundational movements or skills like the ability to pick up weights from the floor, pressing weights overhead, carrying weights for distance and many others that has direct carry over to your life instead of tying yourself to few lifts and taking it to the extreme. If you take squat as an example, in wanting to squat a certain load, you take it to a point where you are not actually getting any benefit by doing squat, in fact you would be better off not doing them. Are you making the squat better or the squat is there to make you better? This holds true to many other categories and products of fitness. Since the fitness industry is very much polluted with information on what you should be doing and what you shouldn't for your own training, I wouldn't blame someone for having such false perspective around fitness as it's very hard not to come across such informations and I'm not here to claim that I'm going to change the whole fitness industry by myself as it is not in my control. I'm here to teach and provide the people that I coach with necessary tools that not only helps you train consistently but also identify various BS informations around fitness and stay away from it because those are the things that is in my control.